just did my new face after not doing it for, I want to say I haven't done it since like before Christmas. I did this half of my face. Well, you know, this side of my face. And I wanted to show you the difference between the two. Can you see like when I smile, how this side of my face is just like, look at this cheek on the side. It's like popped. And then this side is like flat. I just feel like this whole side of my face is lifted and this side is just not as lifted. So again, I did this side, I did absolutely nothing. And I did this using my new face Trinity. I'll show you the device in a second if you don't know what it is, but can you see how this cheek is just like more pronounced? And like in here, this is the area that bothers me the most as I've gotten older, like just like the sagging around my mouth. I feel like it really ages me, but I don't know if you could see, like it's not as puffy here anymore. Whereas on this side, it's a little bit puffier. I don't know how to explain it. I don't have a very symmetrical face, but this, this side is the more lifted side anyway. But even doing the not as lifted side, you can see the difference between the two. People on TikTok like to comment on my new face videos and say that it's not worth it. But for me, how can you deny the instant results? And no, they're not permanent. And yes, you do need to keep up with it. But this is like a drastic difference especially when you first start. I think it's important to take a video or take a picture because as you continue to use it, your face will stay tighter because you're continuing the process. But like from the beginning, these results, I don't think that you can deny them. If you don't know what the new face is, this is what the new face is. And I've done so many tutorials on it. I will link them right here. I'll link one of them here so you can see exactly how I use it to get these effects. I just feel like it's noticeable. Let me know. Do you see a difference? Curled my hair using my Dyson Air Wrap. Honestly, I've gotten pretty good at it. It takes me like 20 minutes now, whereas it used to take me like 45 minutes to an hour. So improvement. She's a little bouncy, but honestly, it, it will die down. The curls don't really last that long, but I wanted to show you the fit because I really, really love this shirt that my mom got me. I feel like it's very, I feel like this outfit is like very California. It's very soft. It's super cute. I could have ironed it, but honestly, it wrinkles very easily. I just think that's kind of the vibe. So if that bothers you, I don't think you're gonna like this, but I will find it and link it down below. It's nice, you can wear this to work, you can wear this in life. And then these are, I'll bring it down, but these are the cost jeans that I returned and then rebought because a lot of people said they looked good on me. They do hug my legs really nicely. I've been wearing them for a few hours now and they definitely do stretch. Oh, and I didn't show you my shoes, sorry. I'm not very good at this. And then my shoes, are these boots that my sister bought me from Macy's last year. I brought this bag to California, but before that I wore it for a few days in a row. I love it, perfect size. In here, I have my little Louis Vuitton wallet, lip liner. I put a little bit of Zen by Honeybee Gardens on my lips, lawless. I'm gonna throw my camera, which is you, in here because honestly, looking back at the California footage, the footage from my phone is literally terrible. I don't, like my phone, I don't know if yours does this, but I have one of, my phone's pretty new. If not like the new, I don't think it's the newest one. I don't know. It's pretty new though. I bought it in the last year and it like jumps whenever I record things. It's like really blurry. And then if I zoom in, it's better. It's terrible, but I'm gonna take my camera because uh, we need better, we need better quality in 2024. That's what I'm going for. I'll probably put my phone in my pocket because I think it'll fit in here, but I don't like my phone hitting up against my camera. What else? I need to go get pants hemmed, but I don't think the seamstress is gonna be there. And I need a jacket because it's a little chilly and I have to wear my leather jacket that Mike bought me for Christmas. It's from All Saints. I absolutely love it. When I first opened it, I wasn't sure about it because it looked really busy, but on it's like, oh my God. It's like everything one could dream of in a jacket. Look at this, look at this. Oh my God, it's so cute and it's so soft. And this bag just like ties the boots in. So this is my outfit of the day. We're gonna go shopping, probably gonna go to Sephora. Mike asked me if we could go to a beauty store. I'm pretty sure that's what he said. And I was like, why, what, why do we need to go to a beauty store? And he said, because he's running out of serums and whatnot which is perfect because I literally ran out of my Good Molecule Serum this morning. I'm running out of body lotion. He said Sephora, but I kind of want to go to Ulta. I love my outfit. I feel super comfortable. I don't mean to be materialistic, but I really love things. And I do think that things can make us happy to a degree. Like this leather jacket, every time I put this leather jacket on, I just 
feel happy. Is it sad and pathetic? One might think, but I don't know. It's just like who I've always been, honestly, ever since I was a little girl. I love shopping, I love buying things, things make me happy, but I have realized as I've gotten older, like there's a fine line between things making me happy and then like an excess of things that gives me anxiety. He's waving me in to the chocolate with the bugs in it. It's convincing. Should we go? It tastes so good. I told you last time before we walked in there not to go in there and then you went in there and what happened? I had to go in there though. A moth flew out of the container. A moth did fly out of my container. <laughs> pistachio latte. You want a pistachio latte? Maybe. Okay, let's go. Babe, your hip is bad, so we want to get off board. This is in Target, if anyone needs a planter, because I really want that, but and I would totally buy it, but I don't need that, but I think you do. This is so cute. Oh, I love a bird. Oh my God, look. Stop. I'm dead, guys. Valentine's Day, man. This is really cute. Testing pillows. Um, is good, like, is this what I should be doing to decide on my pillow? You should be deciding. I don't know, but I don't want. I don't like that either. I don't like that. No. This one's a poofier pillow. I feel yeah. like you like a poofier pillow. I guess. You know what? It's 5:30 on a Saturday, and we're home, and Mike's watching football. So I thought, let's hang out together, friends, while the husbands watch football. Let's hang out. Honestly, I'm just gonna take this opportunity to clean the mess that I made this week because, oh my God, you know what? I was gonna say if you could see, but you could technically see. So let's see. This is my desk. Oh my God. She's a lot, it's a lot going on. It's a lot going on. I have mugs up here in the bedroom. Why? I don't know. They were gifts. I need to put them away. Laundry that needs to be tucked away. I'm a mess, but I got a new tripod and that's exciting. I'm hoping we can like up the ante here and maybe I can actually use the lights that I already own so that it doesn't look like eternal darkness. The lighting in here is just, I need a better lighting setup. I think our house is just, you know. In the kitchen, we always say the lighting's terrible. I just feel like we don't have good lighting in here. I need someone in here to light it up correctly. And I need to light myself up and clean, so be right back. I don't know why I somehow landed in terrible lighting as always, but I was cleaning out my, I don't know, I'm just cleaning this out because I wanna make space and like reorganize things. And I was going through like these boxes that I'm for some reason keeping, I don't know. And I don't know why, but I just opened this box and it has all of my dad's mask cards. I don't know why I just did that, like what compelled me to do this. And then I found this, so. I just feel like it's little signs that he's here. That's how I'll take it. I was cleaning the fireplace and I don't know if you could see, but look, I like scratched myself on the metal and I almost, I almost got my brand new tattoo and I would have been upset if that ruined my palm tree. I don't need another reason to cry today. I bought this. It's like a bomb. Hustle Butter Deluxe. They're like healing pretty well. Honestly, I love them. I love tattoos. I want a whole wrist. I want a tattoo bracelet. Isn't that just fitting for me? So I cleaned, but I kind of made a mess while I was cleaning. Anybody else? Sometimes when I clean, um, it just becomes messier for some reason. I need a lip. Mike's been watching football all night. I'm having a glass of wine. He's making ribs, I'm gonna have a rib. And the wine that we tried, oh my God, I'll put a little insert of it. Oh my God, we tried it last night. I got it as a gift from one of my coworkers. So good, I think it's Stagsley. It's a cab from, I think the year is 2020. There's no sun out, but I've been really enjoying this. It's a retinol anti-aging hand lotion. It has SPF 15, but it has retinol. So it's supposed to help with the lines on your hands. I don't know, it's like an anti-aging hand cream. I just wanted a hand cream that wasn't sticky that had SPF because every morning when I leave the house, I put SPF 30 on my hands, but then I need to reapply throughout the day because I used the Eucerin one and the pump. It's like this big, literally. So I can't carry that around. So I bought this one and honestly, I've been really, really liking it. I like redid my dresser. I want to show you this 
picture that my niece drew for me. Um, it's super cute and I just framed it because I've been trying to find a frame that fits it and I'm having trouble finding a frame but I kind of just like folded the picture to fit into this frame. I don't know, it looks cute and it's better than just sitting out and about like it's been, but let me show you. You can't really see it because the lighting is terrible, but my niece drew me this. It's inspired by my dad's mask card. We picked this one because my dad would stay on the beach until the sun literally looked like that. And then, <laughs> yeah, so we just thought it was very him, but she came to my dad's memorial mass and we gave out those cards and then she drew this picture because she had the mask card up on her mantle in her bedroom so she drew this and how cute she drew two people in it with the sun set and the pretty colors and it's so cute it says like you rock um so it's just i feel like that was a sign for my dad like my dad's with me my niece like felt it i don't know it's so nice so i finally framed it and here's what I have up here. My little ghost I showed you guys that Mike bought me for Halloween. So cute. But I just like rearranged it a bit. I had storage here and now I don't. Starting the day off right. I actually had a dream about my dad last night. It was like a little wild. It was kind of like a nightmare. Or something bad. Someone like stabbed me in my dream. I No, terrible, I know. And violence. I don't like violence at all. Like whenever Mike watches anything violent, I'm like, I don't wanna watch this. And I'm one of those people that I make him change it before I leave the room. But someone stabbed me and my dad like came to my rescue. And he was like, I'll always help you. I'll always protect you. And it was nice. So that's how, well, not the getting stabbed part, but you know what I'm saying. So I think I'm starting today on a nice foot. A good foot because my dad came and visited me last night and I just think that when you're open to signs I know like people find it to be annoying and I know like some people including myself can like make anything a sign but honestly because it like helps us get through things and I don't know why not believe like it's something nice you know rather than like coincidence just making my coffee oh, i want to show you the new rug that we got yesterday at target honestly not like the most exciting but the pickings were slim and we really need a rug for in front of the sink all right so i have my coffee My book, my journal, through the rug, although Rogan is on it because. Good morning, sir. Can we see the rug, please? Oh, thank you so much. What a sweet gentleman. Thank you. This is the rug we got, nothing special. Honestly, look at him though. Mm. He matches the rug. Right, you match the rug? You match the rug? You want treats? Treats? Yeah, okay. Okay, I guess I'll give you treats because you're sweet, even though you're very bad. He's bad, he's not sweet, what am I saying? His face, his eyes fool me. Ready? You bounce up? You be a good boy today? Huh? No, no. Don't go there. Not on the rug though, the rug is new.
know what I always say. Getting dressed and putting a little bit of makeup on definitely helps you feel better. And yeah, my hair definitely makes me feel better. My bag of the day, I'll show you the full fit, but I'm gonna take this. I'm wearing a lot of black and white. And on my lips, I'm wearing YSL. I don't love these. They're not very hydrating and the smell of them is like potent and painful. Like honestly, I don't wanna be dramatic, but these give me a headache, but this is in the shade number 44. So I'm wearing it to represent my dad today. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Oh, and I wanted to put on this necklace by Michael Kors. I haven't worn this in a really long time. Let me show you what we're working with here. Banana Republic sweater, Banana Republic vegan leather cargo pants. I hope you can see them. My $5 H&M boots and my Valentino bag. Obviously I have to throw a huge coat on top of this, which ruins the vibe, but I really like this. Super cute, casual but nice for a Sunday dinner in honor of dad. Um, mass was really nice. It's so nice because the priest is quirky, but like he's very relatable. And they said my dad's name multiple times. Like I think they said it three times and it was just really nice. And it was nice to be able to enjoy it in the comfort of my own home too. It was a virtual mass. We're gonna go to the mall. I'm hopefully not gonna buy anything. And then we're off to go to my mom's. I'm gonna cut her hair and then we're gonna go to dinner. My mug matches my outfit. How cute is this? It's the little things in life. Booty. Come on, baby, light my fire. What a fire. What a fire. What a wine. What a fire. <laughs> 